Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2. And this is more or less the same update that I posted on when it was still in release preview in its final stages of testing. But Microsoft has added a couple of extra fixes that were not available when it was still in preview. Now, there's only a handful of fixes because this is a non-security update. And with optional updates, as I always say, when they do roll out, only install them if you are facing any issues that we are going to mention in this video. Else, ignore them because these optional updates are known to cause issues. Now, first of all, the first fix is fixing an issue, Microsoft says, that caused Windows sign-in screen to stop responding after a user enters the same PIN during signing using a mobile broadband connection. This update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Edge when running in Internet Explorer compatibility mode. Apparently, it stops responding due to certain same domain redirects. The update also brings profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. There's a fix for the display kernel where the update addresses an issue that affects display configuration changes during remote desktop protocol RDP sessions with multiple monitors. The system might shut down, Microsoft says, unexpectedly when disconnected from a docking station during a streaming session. And then there are two input fixes. The first is an issue where some characters didn't display correctly when using the Chinese input method editor has been addressed. And there was also an issue where certain Chinese characters appeared as empty boxes in some text fields. So two input fixes. And Microsoft has fixed a known issue. So that's always nice to see where the update addresses an issue where you might not be able to connect to shared files and folders if you're using the server message block SMB v1 protocol on NetBIOS over TCP IP NetBIOS and I think that's more affecting enterprise environments. And then there's a printer fix where there was an issue where viewing the printer queue in settings for a shared printer caused the print queue user interface to stop working. So that's been patched and then the last one just to mention for this video there's a fix for system services and reliability, which is always nice to see, where there was an issue that caused MCP management service to appear without a description on Windows. So just a handful of fixes because 23H2 support is ending in November. So that's just around the corner. And we're not going to see any new features, I think, making its way into 23H2 at this stage because of that. And we are still waiting for the Windows 10 optional update for this month to roll out. And that will be the last optional update for Windows 10 before support is reached on the 14th of October. And we are also still waiting for Windows 11 24H2's optional update to roll out. But I think there's a very good chance, heading back to the calendar, that Microsoft may push that out next week because that could be the upgrade from 24H2 to 25H2, the start of the rollout. So there's a good chance we might see that next week, the 29th, 30th, and the 1st. But obviously, but obviously that's just what I'm suggesting. So Windows 10 and Windows 11 24H2, we are still waiting for. And obviously when that becomes available and those updates roll out, I'll keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.